there, guys and gals. Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Orcish Inn. We're now in episode four, and our tavern is just about done. As a matter of fact, we're almost to a point where we can start making beer. But something I need to—I need your guys' help. I would—we need a name for the inn. We need—we need a good Orcish name for the inn. Like I was thinking something along the line of, you know, like the Green Giggler or the Orc Smash Inn, or. <laughs> Get the idea, the hairy bride. You know, something that, you know, resounds with the fact that he's an orc and, of course, uh, is kind of funny. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think we can name the inn. And I'm going to pick somebody at random and we're going to name the inn. We can even build a little sign to put outside of the inn with the name of the inn on it. Uh, where is it here? I think it's under... Yeah, so we can build a sign and put it outside. But we need a name for our inn. We absolutely need a name for our inn. So, first thing we need to do today, beyond that, is we need to get some stuff moved around here in order to make things work we also need to set up a compost and i have okay so here's here for, here's a good example of something that we need to compost see how this baked anchovy is quality one we can't have we can't eat a quality one anchovy it's going to give us food poisoning so we're going to save that uh, we're going to save that for later we're going to put that in our compost we're going to eat all of the other fish here that are not quality zero i mean not quality one quality zero uh eat that one eat that one Oh, it looks like it's still cooking that one. Okay, let's also make sure that we continue working on our iron because we still need 75 iron to build our beer brewing kettle. We're so close to actually being able to make beer. Like, so very, very close. Why is that not cooking? Oh, if we pause it for some reason, I don't know how we pause it. Let's also get the other fish in here as well. Fish, fishy, fishy. And fishy, is that it? That's all the fish. So we do have, as I said, we do have one quality zero fish that we can use in our new compost that we're gonna start working on after we have a little bit of a sleep. Let's eat some food. There we go, and have a little orcish rest. Snore, 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 snore. Zed, zed, zed. <laughs> I love the little things coming out of the orc, it's great. Uh, we do have mail, but I'm not even looking at the mailbox right now. We have too much to do. No time for mail, no time for mail. We will look at that at a, at a different time. Okay, I'm gonna be moving these uh, these furnaces too as well. Hold on, let's first of all, let's check. Okay, so this fish is, two, is, is quality zero. We're gonna just store that one. We're gonna eat this fish. We're gonna eat this fish, and we're gonna eat this fish. And uh, we're gonna move, we're going to be moving both of these furnaces, so let's do that right now. Why am I moving the furnaces? Is because we're going to be building some stuff right here. So I want them kind of out of the way. Let's also clear off some of this land so that... Um, whoops, not, I'm not fishing. I don't want to fish right now. He wants to fish. I don't want to fish right, right now. <laughs> he always wants to fish. That's, you know... He, he's, he's like, I work really hard. I deserve a little fishing time. And I agree with you, Mr. Orc. But uh, we, need to, we need to do some work here too as well. Okay, so let's place down those furnaces again. So I wanted them kind of out of the way so that they weren't on top of what I'm going to be doing over here. Also, another thing that we can do is we can move our wood pile. And th thank you very much for, uh, to the guys in the comments below. For those of you that have played Orcishin, you remembered something that I had forgotten. You can automate some of these processes. So in other words, we can place down the wood yards behind these furnaces, fill them up with wood, and they will automatically distribute, distribute wood to the furnaces automatically, which is great. I think I said automatically way too many times there. Automatically. There we go. <laughs> uh, so let's fill these up with some wood. Uh, let's see. The wood's at the beginning here. And let's, uh, yeah, I'll just do it one at a time. Five, six, seven. And then control moves the whole thing. Okay, so now when we put something into the furnace, we don't have to worry about whether the wood is there. It's automatically going to pull it from the wood yard. So watch this. Look at that, the wood is automatically there. So yeah, there's lots of automation in this game. And I forgot how much of the stuff in this game is actually automated. There's tons, tons of stuff we can automate, including brewing beer. And that's what we're, we're gonna be working on that probably a little bit more tomorrow or the next day that we do this. Today, I just wanna get the rest of our equipment up and running. So let's run back over here really quickly, grab some more iron as quickly as we can. Just grab, uh, we there's we also need to start chopping down some apple trees. Yes, there is, there is, believe it or not, there is two types of trees on the map right now. There is apple trees and there is oak trees. And you can tell by the top of the tree. See how big the leaves are on the top of this tree? That signifies that this is an oak tree. See how small the leaves are, are on this tree? This signifies an apple tree. Now, theoretically, you should be able to tell it's an apple tree by apples on it, but not in this case. <laughs> <laughs> but I just happen to know because I've done a little bit of uh, playing around on my own uh, in other games and stuff, trying to learn all this stuff. But we need to chop down some apple trees. Why do we need apple trees? We need the apple resin. The apple resin is used to make a treant, a serving treant. It's a talking treant faucet that you put in it that you put in your inn that will serve the beer to the patrons. It's yeah, it's. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's ridiculous if you think about it, but um, it's cool. And he actually talks and stuff in the in the bar. It's actually really neat. I can't wait to actually get him up because he's he's pretty awesome. He's pretty awesome. But we need we need apple apple tree resin, and to build that. And uh, we don't we don't have any of that right now. So we're gonna have to. Uh, 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 right, we got a whole bunch of limestone. You know what? We know what we're going to do with the extra limestone? Well, there's a couple things we can do. We can make some roads, which I think we need anyway. It'll speed up our proce the process of running around here. We can do roads right up to the doors. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that nice? And it'll, of course, speed up our walking speed as well when we're going through these areas, which is nice. See how? It's so much quicker. So much quicker. There we go. We'll do that right to here and we'll have the road going in like that. And then we can go talk to the hawker. We'll sell off the extra limestone that we have because we don't need any of that extra stuff. Uh, what else do we have here that we don't need? We don't need the sawdust. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. We need everything else. So another thing that we need to do today is we need to get a compost going. We need to get more. Oh, oh actually, before I leave the hawker, I need to buy some other stuff. Hold on. We need we need uh Jeez, oh, just click on all the buttons at, at once, Rob. Come on. Um, we need to get some more nails. We always need nails. Man, I hope there is a way for us to make these at some point. I know I keep saying that, but it's expensive. Like 700 for 50. Yeah, that's really expensive. And we are running low on cash. Mind you, we can't sell anything. So I guess it's not a huge deal. We're also going to need... I want to grab some more seeds too as well. I want to grab whatever he has left of oat seeds. And I want to grab some more hop seeds because hops are going to become really really important very soon and they take a very long time to grow as a matter of fact the the hop plants that we have right now planted are probably still like five days away before they're ready hold on let's just go take a look we need to almost put a road here too as well so if we look at these hop plants yeah six more days until they're fully grown let's plant some more let's plant some more because uh we're gonna need lots of hops when we finally get to a point where we're ready to build beer which is actually not that far away we'll be we'll be ready to build beer far before these hop plants are ready so uh just around the did i do the right one no i did not hold on i did the wrong one i i put oats in there i made the same mistake i made uh, a while ago hold on let's uh, uh hops there we go and then we'll go uh just like so perfect now, I don't want to put them too close together because they prefer, if you look at here, they prefer a little bit of, they, pref, they they don't want a lot of plant density. If we go to the plant density meter, you can see that, you know, this one's got a lot of plant density. This one's got a lot of plant density, but the other ones are probably within the right range. So, yeah, the wetness, uh, let's just take a look at the wetness. Wetness is, is actually pretty good all around. And our windbreak... Uh, it's actually not too bad. Our wind breaks about where it needs to be. As you can see there, it's about a, a little more than about a third, a third of the pie. And it's maybe a little bit high for windbreak. That just means it's almost like a plant density. It just the more plants you have, the, the, the less wind there is. I don't think these are ready to harvest yet. Nope, not quite ready yet. Okay, let's get back to work here. Back to work. Stop standing around. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are really hungry. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Yep. Okay, we need to cook some food. Yep. Definitely need to cook some food. We are completely out of bread. Let's get some of that going right away. Because starving is not something I really had on the agenda today. We have too much to do to starve. No time to starve. Two yeast and two oats. Perfect. And grab this. Two yeast and two oats. Done. Okay, let's go back to work. We need iron and a lot of it. Uh, do we have any on us? Yeah, we do. Okay, so let's store that. We need 75 and we currently have 53. So we have a ways to go. Um, let's also build our bale. So let's talk about the compost first of all. We need to build a compost where we can get dirt. So uh, to build that, we're going to need something called hay. And to make hay, we need a bale. So the bale can turn uh, grasses into hay and and cereals into straw. So we need grasses to turn into hay. And we're going to put the bale, uh, we'll put it like right here. Yeah, that should fit. That should be no problem. Not It's not going to be easy to get around it. So we can take all of these extra grasses that we've been collecting like that. Uh, let's just control. Perfect. All of that. And notice how it starts to make, uh, it just takes time, right? It just takes time to turn this grass into hay. And uh, we do have some more here, I think. We actually have quite a bit. Uh, the le No, not the leaves. I thought we had some more. Oh, yeah, we've got a ton right here. Tons, tons and tons. And maybe this will alleviate some of our encumbrance issues. <laughs> just want to make sure it's not totally 100% full, I think. Yeah, just like everything else, got to kind of leave at least uh, one spot open here. Let's just click on that and go boom. Whoops. Ah, oh. No, no, no. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> it's 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 something I do. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's go. 
like that perfect there it goes now it's working and gradually over time it's gonna make our hay bales for us which isn't that, isn't that nice and we need hay and uh, what else do we need to make our compost we need some some of the decorative planks so let's get our retool our lumber yard to be doing uh mostly decorative planks and i think that one is this one will change over to decorative planks we're gonna sell off any of the extra wood we have on us right now too as well just the regular lumber it's we just we need the money and uh we're not doing anything with it right now so we might as well make one thousand two hundred and forty four dollars gotta like that gotta like that a lot actually sell that extra sawdust uh, i think that's it that's all we need to sell right now perfect okay let's get back to work so as i was saying we need to build a tree ant now let's take a look at the treant. The treant is will serve the beer for it. It's serve, serve the beer for us. It's called a faucet, faucet treant. This faucet is a barrel with a wooden tree creature on top of it. It stores beer and serves it to its customers. If you connect a beer brewing kettle to a faucet with an output pipe, the kettle automatically puts beer into the faucet, and then customers will come in and take beer from the the, the treant. It's actually kind of cool, and he talks a lot. The problem is, as you can see, we need. 50 apple resins so we have to chop a bunch of apple trees down now uh, as you can see this is a oak tree and this one because it's got the small leaves is an apple tree and we just need to chop them down to their stump and once we hit their stump we get the resin we got nine resin from that that's an oak tree uh there's an apple tree in here but nah, it's, we're not gonna go for that one. we'll go for this one problem is uh, we also get a whole bunch of wood when we chop it down to its stump like instantaneously we've got a ton of wood as well yeah we need to go replenish our health and food and all that kind of good stuff so we only got six resin from that one that's unfortunate that's really unfortunate i think we are completely out of food so let's go grab that bread that we started <laughs> we know what we need to make a road going back and forth we're gonna do that we're gonna do that uh when we have the chance uh because it does take a long time when we're encumbered like this okay so let's put the rest of our wood in here actually i think we need to replenish our s whoops whoops I, I hit a button there I, I hit a button i didn't know i could use okay let's put the rest of our wood in uh, some of our wood in here and then some of our wood in here that way i don't know if apple wood is better than oak i mean i think oak would be a, a harder wood but apple i mean i don't it would sound, sound a lot more posh for an orc to say yes this is an apple wood table <laughs> like an orc needs to be posh anyway all right let's grab our bread let's grab the rest of our bread and we're gonna do some fishing after we eat here because because the orc he's he's been dreaming about fishing all day <laughs> fishing you know it's a life for me it's so exhausting <laughs> and something i didn't know if you hold down the left mo mouse button mo eh, left mouse button when you're casting out it casts out further i didn't know that i just discovered that actually just recently it, that you can hold it down and it goes out further i guess it kind of makes sense but i just didn't experiment with it at all so let's try and get ourselves back in the green here it is almost dusk so we don't need to go all the way up to the top but it's important it's important to take a break orcs need a break it's very important to take a break in between all of this work that we do why are we not catching fish this is weird usually we're, we've caught at least three fish by now what's going on oh it's almost dusk so it's all there's almost no point in fishing too much because we're just gonna rest and heal it all anyway so let's take the rest of our bread bread and put in any of the iron that we have ready to go and then in tomorrow in the next day here we're gonna go grab as much iron as we can and get our brewer, beer brewing equipment working believe it or not we can all we can pretty much get our beer brewing almost immediately except for the fact that we don't have hops quite ready we can actually get the rest of it going okay look at this we're not even encumbered wow how'd that happen <laughs> we're always encumbered okay rest 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 snore 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 ah what a beautiful evening it's very very nice there we go let's eat some food nom, 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 nom. not even looking at the mailbox mailbox has 10 letters in it well let's look so most of these are from the st the orcish statistic bureau which will tell us how we're doing i'm not going to open these letters yet oh what's this this letter shows a stamp of the hawker guild what uh, okay we're going to open this letter this is a superb and unique chance to get a special piece of something, a so-called ornate carpet floor furniture blueprint. <gasps> if you consider to buy the item, use this letter as a coupon and wrap it up on a postage desk together with an empty envelope, a hawker, a hawker guild address label, and a postage stamp of the type of the type hawker coupon sold by one of our hawkers flying around. Please put it in a, in, in a mailbox as our hawkers don't handle coupons. So we can get, what do we, what can we get? It's a coupon to get a, a superb, hold on, this is a, to get a ornate carpet, carpet floor, an ornate car, a, an ornate carpet floor furniture blueprint. Pfft, I'll be damned. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so uh, we got that. Um, let's see, we've got another stati- Oh, this letter has a stamp of the military headquarters. Mr. or Mrs. Orc, we regret to inform you that your your brother has not yet fallen in battle. <laughs> he is the longest li lived of anyone in his unit and disappoints us greatly that he should dishonor his family in this way. His personal effects can be retrieved at military headquarters. So I guess the expectation of an Orc is not to live very long. I, 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 I kind of get it. If not retrieved within the hour, his personal effects will be incinerated. Well, I think we kind of lost that opportunity. Glory to the blood-soaked throne. He sends a, sends a letter. We have to collect it within the hour. Love, Lieutenant. Sophie Kirshner. Military headquarters. Wonderful. <laughs> the rest here are statistics bureau. They just give you stats on your on your on your end and stuff. We'll look at those later. I'm not gonna bother looking at them at them right now, but I uh, definitely we got a coupon. We got a coupon in the mail. What are we playing? This is crazy. Okay, so let's grab the iron here. Let's put some more back in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And some more, grab that, put some more in here, and let's go grab the rest of the iron that we need. And we still need the stuff for the Triant too, but you know, getting our beer brewing kettle I think is pretty important. So let's go back down here, grab whatever we can for limestone and iron, specifically iron. All right, dig, 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 dig. Yeah, these things, <laughs> it, I, I, I don't know if the limestone comes back. I do, every once in a while, you see wood and other pieces of schmutz appear on the map, again, after they've been removed, but I don't know if limestone comes back. Uh, they may or may not, I don't even know. It's going to take a long time for us to get back home. I have a solution to that, actually. One of the things we can do, rather than take forever to get home, is we can build roads on the way home and use up some of this limestone that we have on us and alleviate some of that pressure. I mean, I don't know if that's the right choice, but I don't know. And also, because of an orc, I am not going to be building in a straight line. Because orcs don't build anything in a straight line. At least, in my vision, in my mind, an orc doesn't build anything in a straight line. And every time you go around something, it becomes a feature. It's not laziness, it's a feature. <laughs> it's an orcish feature. Okay, so I, we're going to have to go around this tree. So we'll do that like so. And look, we're actually alleviating our encumbrance. We're using up some of that limestone. Look at that, we're already moving at a decent speed. Wonderful. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Oh, there's a tree in the way. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to chop that tree down at some point. Oh well, that's uh, we're out of we're out of limestone. Oh, we're not out of limestone. I'm, I'm insane. I'm insane. I thought we were out of limestone. No, there we go. Okay, so let's go eat some food. And I guess we gotta do some fishing uh, before we. No, I get. We'll do some fishing down. I was gonna I was gonna fill this, the uh, furnaces, but no, we don't need to do that. So chuck away. This time we need to catch some fish. Ah, it is raining. We need to start taking advantage of this rain. We need to put out a rain barrel so we can collect some of that rain because we can. U we need fresh water in order to build beer. You don't want salt water. By the way, this is an ocean. Um, I, I've been learning this game the hard way uh, because, you know, I, that's how I do things. I haven't been really looking anything up. I have been asking from ad for advice from the developer, Stephen Calling, and he has been kind enough to offer little bits and pieces of information, which has been very, very helpful. But one of the things I kind of discovered on my own um, is that you can't use salt water to build beer. <laughs> I, I I was beating my head against the wall trying to figure out why I couldn't make beer with this water that I was collecting. But no, it turns out it was salt water and you can't, of course you can't make beer with salt water. I didn't know. It's it's a very, it's a very uh, subtle difference between the waters and I thought this was all fresh water. I mean, what did I know? But yes, no, this is actually salt water. That's cool. <laughs> all right, that's good. All right, so how we doing? Our furnaces are working away. We're gonna need more food soon, but that's okay. Let's get back to work here. Uh, you know what? Let's replenish these. I know they're not quite done, but uh, yeah. Uh, just gotta keep these things running at all times. We need 75 pieces of iron. I don't want I don't want these things to be sitting idle at all. I want them to be working nonstop. We're getting close. We're almost there. What are we at now? 53? You know what? We'll be there at like no time. As a matter of fact, let's go after more apple trees so that we can get our resin. Uh, there's an apple tree over there. Yeah, it's a little out of the way. Uh, let's just cut through here. This is out, It's all out of the way, so it doesn't really matter. But let's cut through here and go after this tree here. Uh, this one's... I can't even tell which tree I'm cutting. There we go. Yeah, that's an apple tree. You can tell because you can see the apple beside the wood. There you go. Let's do this as fast as I possibly can. It's a matter of however fast you click is the speed at which you chop down the tree. There is no option to do the fast chop or anything, <laughs> which would be really handy. So I'm, I'm getting, I don't know, I'm getting callus on my, on my mouse finger. <laughs> ah! uh, and I'm not even clicking that fast. Okay, almost done. And how much resin? Come on. Big bucks, no whammies. 23, 26, 26 resin. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all, actually. That's not too shabby. I don't think we have enough yet. I, we need 50. So we're at 41. We're getting close. We're almost there. 
And by the time we get up here, we should have enough iron to probably put down our beer brewing kettle. This is exciting, guys. We are actually, you know, we can probably even start working on some parts of the beer now. But like I said, there's no rush until we get our hops fully grown anyway. And it's going to take many days, many orcish days until we're into ready to go. We'll be ready by next episode for sure. But we can get our equipment down. So let's go grab. Uh, do we have any iron on us? I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, let's see. Can we... Let's repl... Well, what did I just do? I just put a road down or something silly. Okay, let's take all of this wood. Let's put in a little bit more here. We'll bring it up to 31. Sure. Applewood. It's very it's very posh. The applewood. Very posh. There we go. Done. Oh, look! A snail! Run, snail! It's funny. When you get close to the snail, they, they go back in their shell. <laughs> what a nice... I just love details like that. Details like that just make me so happy. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I do that kind of thing all the time. The Miss Clicky, Miss Clicky, Miss Clicky. Uh, grab that and put the rest of the iron in here. Excellent. We're so close now, we're so close. Uh, one less, one less, hello. Why Why can't I take, why can't I take that? Why, what's going on? Hold on, I, I misclicked or something. There we go, perfect. Okay, how much iron do we have now? We have, we have more than enough. Awesome. Let's grab all this iron and let's go build our beer brewing equipment. I hope we have... Actually, before we head up there, let's fill up any of the remaining wood that we have on us in here. Let's do 10, 10 at a time here. Perfect. And 10 at a time. Let's fill that one up. Excellent. Uh, we're still pretty over... What are we so overloaded with? I think it's all lumber. <laughs> oh, and the iron, of course. And the iron. Is I think we need some nails though. Do we have enough to put it together? I think we need nails. No, we've got more than enough nails. Awesome, perfect. We're, whoops. <laughs> the escape button is like the I lose button, so you don't want to do that. Um, I think once upon a time when you hit escape, it actually quit out of the game. There we go. Beer brewing kettle. So let's start organizing this in such a way that makes sense. So I spent a fair amount of time. Furniture got damaged. Oh, it gets damaged when I pick it up like that. I didn't realize that. I spent a fair amount of time in the last couple of days trying to understand how automation, whoops, oh, I put it in the wrong spot, how automation works in this game. And it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. And it's not, it's not, uh, it's not totally evident how things work entirely, but I think I've got a pretty simple solution to make this automatic. So what we're going to do is, uh, so we've got our malt box, which we're going to use oats and, and water and, and wood to make malt. Then the malt will go into the wort boiler with water and wood to make wort. Then the wort will go in the beer brewing kettle along with hops, yeast, wood, and a flavor to make beer. So it's pretty simple if you think about it from that regards, but what I want to do is automate it. So it's a little bit trickier, uh, but I found a, a nice little setup that works great. So, and there's a little bit of help from Stephen Calling. Thank you very much for that, Stephen Calling. You're always wonderful. I'm going to put a chest in the in-between. So just like how I described that these, these, these stacks of wood will feed into the furnace, we can have this chest feed materials into all of these two as well. And because it's centered, all we have to do is put materials into the center one and it'll feed everything. Now, the one thing that we do not have in here is water. So we're going to work on that next. Uh, we are so overloaded. Do we have enough nails? Uh, we've got a lot of nails, actually. Let's sell off. Nope. Actually, we're not going to sell off anything. We are going to build some more of our bar. Might as well make use of that wood, right? Let's make use of that wood that we have on us. Let's build the rest of our bar. Done. 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 Oh, oh. Uh, do we want it that long? Sure, I guess. I was thinking maybe shorter than that. And we'll use the, so there's the wood wooden floor chair, which looks like a wooden, a wooden stump, which is pretty cool, but only gives us three tavern comfort points. And then there is the uh, wooden chair simple, which gives us five tavern co uh, comfort points. Then we've got the tavern, the six tavern comfort points for the wooden chair triple. And then we've got the wooden chair solid peaked for eight tavern points, but all of these use more materials. But I don't really care if it uses more materials. I want our patrons to be comfortable. Actually, you know what? If they're going to sit at the bar, they get the bar stools. Yeah, they get the bar stools at the bar. So I'm just going to do it like this, two, three, four. And then, I don't know, we can add features or something here. We're going to put the treant right here. So we're going to have the beer feeding into the treant. Ah, it's going to look really cool. I'm actually super excited. Uh oh, we are super hungry. I forget about the basicness, bare necessities here sometimes. Okay, let's sell off anything that we have that we don't need. Uh, we don't need this bark. We don't need... Uh, oh, we got some apples. Oh, 140 bucks for apples. 
We can use it as food, though, but $140, we're selling those. $280 for that. That's great. Uh, we do have some fish on us and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, I bet you our compost is ready to go, too. I want to get the stuff done before we have to go to sleep again. Because sleeping, oh, we don't do anything when we're sleeping. That's not fun. Okay, let's build our compost bin. Oh, you know what? We're probably going to need nails, too. We always need nails. Let's just let's just grab some more. Let's just grab some more. We we are we're we're funding we're 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 paying for most Oh no no don't go. Ah, uh, I got some. I got some. That should be more than enough. It's dusk already. <laughs> See something grew just in the middle in the middle of my road already. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, let's grab the rest of this iron and get some bread cooking cuz we're going to be starving here pretty quickly. One two. One two. Whoops. Whoopsie. One, two, there we go. And I know we're just about out of time. We're always out of time, guys. This game is so much fun. I'm having a blast with it. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And don't forget, I need a name for our inn. I need a new name for our inn. I need to know what we're going to call this place. Let's put on any of our extra iron. I don't know if we have any extra iron in here. Yes, we do. So let's put all that in there. And before we go, let's build our compost. Uh, so we've got 41... Uh, pieces of straw or hay so we can use that in combination with uh, regular wood and nails to build a compost bin we'll put that right here and now what we can do is we can fill that up with things that we don't want that are going to degrade over time like any of the zero quality fish uh, that we had in here like this one here zero quality fish we don't i mean that way it doesn't go to waste too as well we can also put grasses and seaweed oh no we can't put seaweed but we can put grasses and leaves like these leaves right here yeah let's uh let's just put them all in there sure did we have any more fish i don't think so uh no no uh we yep yeah. oh, just one sec here oh there we go Sorry, I had to turn off something. So that's good. Now, we this all that stuff will gradually degrade over time and turn into fertile soil that we can use in our garden. Isn't that wonderful? So before we go, we'll just grab the rest of this oat field. We'll cut that down. Look at that all. Quality five and six. That's wonderful. I think the way the game used to work before, if you let your fields grow for too long, they would turn to seed, which means you could get way more seed out of them. So if you need more seed, if you want more seed, that's the way to do it, I believe, unless that has changed. But it used to be that if you let things grow too long, if you let it just sit too long, you would just get more seed than you would uh, raw material, which is, you know, you could almost have a crop just for doing seeds, right? It's actually not a terrible idea, but we're going to need lots of this oats because we can also turn the oats into straw, which we're going to need for other things. Guys, I got to call this an episode. We are totally out of time. So, ah, oh, well, the orcs are just going to crawl into bed and we'll call that a day. And we're getting close. We actually have all of our equipment ready to go to build beer. We just need the treant to serve the beer and maybe even some automation. All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. We'll talk to you later. Bye.